Hi, I'm Liz and it's really good to be with you today. One of the things I most love about living in Frinton, other than the great people of course, is uh, the wide open spaces that we get to enjoy, the stretches of sand, the spacious skies, the wilderness of the backwaters. I just love it. As a child, I really enjoyed reading the Little House on the Prairie books and those descriptions of the wide prairies. So perhaps that's where my love of open space comes from. Or maybe it goes a lot deeper. I think at times we all need a bit of space, some solitude. Jesus certainly did. The Bible tells us that he often withdrew to lonely places to pray. He found space in his busy life. Space to be alone, space to be quiet, space to be with God. And he knew that these times were foundational to his relationship with God, so Jesus was proactive in finding space and really protective of this time. Jesus is our model in this. If we want our relationship with God to flourish in the same way that his did, we also need to find space to be alone, to be quiet, to be with God. Now how we do that is going to differ for each of us. We might like to take a walk outside or go and sit somewhere in the natural world. It might be that we need to prioritise switching off our TV, our phone, all those devices that distract us. Perhaps life is so busy that we might even need to just lock ourselves in the loo for the odd five, ten minutes. Where could you find space in your life today? I found silent prayer helps me find space. And not just physically, because I do tend to sit on my own to do it, but also headspace quieting my busy brain. Uh, Richard Foster, the writer who writes a lot about spiritual disciplines, uh, he says this about silence. Silence, you see, creates in us an open, empty space where we are enabled to become attentive to God. Where could you find space today? Well, how about here, right now? Why don't you switch me off, I don't mind, I won't hold it against you, and just enjoy a few moments silence, a few moments to be attentive to God, a few moments to rest in his presence and hear his voice. And if you're interested in further exploring silent prayer, and making space for God in your life in this way, I'd really like to invite you to a silent prayer meeting that we hold online at the moment on a Friday morning. This Friday, as part of our prayer week, it's at nine o'clock, and uh, you can find details of it in the bulletin or contact the church office if you'd like. We start with a small reflection and then move into about 15 minutes of silence together. I would love to see you there. Please come and give it a go. Have a wonderful day, find some space and enjoy God. Bye.